so uh, that's where I'm going to be shooting tonight. Uh, not too much space, lots of snow. Uh, low of minus 16 tonight too. Um, nonetheless, we're going to be out here getting some shots, and uh, yeah, hopefully everything goes well. So tonight I'm going to be shooting a MSAA object, M37, also known as the salt and pepper open cluster. Um, this is going to be a, a good object to shoot, uh, especially because it's uh, right above us right now, um, clear in the sky. And uh, yeah, it's going to be my first open cluster that I'm going to be shooting, so uh, I'm going to try using the Vader Moon and Sky Glow filter um, to dark my backgrounds and to uh, lessen the, the light pollution that I get here in Toronto. Uh, but yeah, we should be able to uh, shoot it for at least three hours. I don't know if that's going to be needed. I'm going to try a few different exposures. Let's take the time now to get set up. This is one of the more scarier parts of setting up a portable telescope rig. You really don't want to mess this part up, so be very cautious. It would absolutely suck to have your telescope fall while your mount is slowing. Before I started setting up for tonight, I opened up the Stellarium application to get a better sense of what to expect and to know when M37 will be visible from my backyard. I also opened up the website clearoutside.com to see when the clouds were expected to pass. Stellarium allows you to fast forward time so you can plan when your object will be in view and know exactly where in the sky it'll be. It looks like M37 will be directly above my house by the time the clouds clear. Alright, just giving you an update of how things are going. Um, in view there we have the open cluster M37. Uh, I'm currently shooting it at uh, 10 second exposures at an ISO of 800. And uh, it's looking pretty good. I'll continue shooting this for another couple hours or so. Uh, then take my flats and darks and then call it a night. All right, so we're back inside right now. Um, the rig is still outside shooting, and I thought that'd be a good time to talk about uh, M37. Um, M37 is also known as the salt and pepper open cluster. Um, it is a magnitude 5.6 object, uh, and to give you a bit of reference, uh, the Orion Nebula is a magnitude four object. Its distance from us is about 4,400 light years. Uh, it's made up of 1,900 stars spanning 20 light years, which is pretty, pretty amazing. It's pretty vast uh, and a lot of stars. Uh, the reason why I'm actually shooting this object is because of a recommendation in the, the 100 best uh, astrophotography targets. Uh, this book has a lot of information about uh, different objects happening in specific months of the year. Uh, so it's great to follow along and, and find out what you should be really shooting uh, that time of year. It doesn't just uh, talk about um, what you should be shooting, but uh, there is a section made up of how to be taking shots, what a CCD camera is compared to a DSLR, uh, lots, of, lots of good information in general. I don't have to worry about any um, moon glow tonight because the moon is not going to be coming up for a couple hours still. But I'm still going to be using the Bader Moon and Sky Glow filter uh, to remove some of the light pollution that I get here in the city. See if I can get really pinpoint stars and dark backgrounds. Overall, it's been a good night. Um, we've had no cloud coverage. Uh, I did have a bit of a weird problem where uh, I was seeing some weird black dot that was going across and each frame I was taking it was slowly moving and it was kind of weird. Um, but then I, I thought that it might have been the overhanging wires 
from my telescope and it seems like it might be that even though it's not a straight line cutting cutting through the image um, I think because I have the SCT style telescope it's resolving into some um, unfocused blob but yeah it, uh, it caught me off guard at first um, I checked the acquisition computer first and saw it uh, and then I went over to the camera just to be sure that it was actually being captured there and it was uh, so it will end up on some of the images and I'll show you this now um, but yeah I do think it was the overhanging wires All right, so tonight was a success. Uh, the Celestron performed beautifully. Uh, I feel like I got very good polar alignment. I didn't have any star trails at all uh, from what I saw so far. Overall, I uh, captured about two hours worth of uh, M37. Uh, I shot 20 flats uh, as well as 20 darks uh, to go along with my images for tonight. So once I put that into a PixInsight, process them all together, hopefully we'll get some good shots. This was again my first uh, globular cluster and uh, I'm pretty excited to see how it turns out. Thanks for watching and hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed what you saw. Now it's time to pack this stuff in. <laughs>